Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be covering one of the SQL interview question that is asked in a JLL interview recently. Given as the employee detail, uh, we need to get the employee names whose salary is greater than their manager's salary. Now, for example, if you look into employee name John, so manager ID is null. We don't have any manager for John. But if you look into next two records, employee ID two and three, manager ID is one. For Alice and Bob. The manager is John. So if you see the manager salary, we have 50,000. But if you look into the employee salary, 40,000 and 70,000. So out of these two employees, uh, Bob is the one who is having a 70,000 salary, uh, which is greater than their manager salary. In the same way, if you look into our next record, Emily. So Emily does not have any manager ID. So Emily doesn't have a manager at all. But the other two records, if you see Charlie and David, so they are having a manager ID four, which means these two employee manager is Emily. So Emily salary is fifty thousand, but uh, employee salary is sixty five thousand, fifty thousand. So out of these two records, 60, Charlie is a sixty sixty five thousand. So Charlie salary sixty five thousand is greater than a Emily salary, which is a greater than manager salary. Now the whole table, there are two employees, Bob and Charlie, whose salary is greater than their manager salary. That we need to get in the output. So let's see how we can solve this. So we have employee table available here with all the details, employee name, salary, and manager ID. In case if we have our two different tables, employee table and manager table separately. So that is a straight forward. We can do a join and we can get all the details. We can easily find out a employees whose salary is greater than manager salary. But in this scenario, we have only one table. In the same table, we have a employee and manager name information available. So if we have this kind of table, uh, what we can do, uh, we can do a self join. So let us say if I'm having a this table two times. So if I execute this query two times, select star from employees, select star from employees. If I execute it, so I will get information two times. Now I'm going to do a join. So we'll be doing join based on a manager ID, employee ID. So we'll get all the information related to a manager. That is a manager name, manager salary, all the details. We'll get in the output. So to do that, maybe I'll be doing a left join here. Now, why we should do left join? So we should have uh, knowledge and joins. So if you don't know how join works, I have already created one video on joins. So you can click on right top corner, you'll find that video. So go through that video and come back, you'll understand joins. Now in this scenario, I'm doing a left join. The reason behind we need to get all the information that is a matching and non-matching records from the left table and only matching information from the right side table. So in this scenario, the first record we're having here is a null. So when I'm joining a manager ID with the employee ID, so first record we are going to join is a null. So null will not join with any other records. So and all the data will be having null only. And next we're having a one. So one and try to search for the records in the next table, we have one matching combination. So one will get information, John, salary 50,000, manager ID null. So that information will get here. Similarly, next record also one only. So when it comes to join one, again, we'll get the same information, John, 50,000, uh, null. Next record, we're having a null. So null will not match with any other record. So we don't get any information. Next, we are having a four. So four, when you try to join with the four, so we have one matching combination. So we'll get here, Emily, 5,000. So all this information will get here. Similarly, for next record four, again, we have employed for Emily. So Emily, that information will get, okay? So we will join these two. Uh, maybe I will assume first table, left side table, I will assume it as a E, employees. Second table, I, I will assume it as a M, manager. So we'll be joining based on from the employee table. From this table, we'll take a manager ID here. That will be joining with a, this table, downside table M with the employee ID. Okay, so this manager ID trying to join with the employee ID. So now if you execute this query, now see. So for employee ID one, John, 50,000. Okay, so for all this information we got. So in this way, we are able to find out so John doesn't have any manager. So we have null values here. Alice and Bob. So both are having a manager name as a John. And for Charlie and David, the manager name is Emily. 
So once we got employee details and then manager details, now we can simply apply filter on top of this. So we can give employee salary. So E stands for employee. That's what we are referring here. So wherever employee salary greater than manager salary and that we want to take in the output. Now if I execute this query, now see there are only two records whose these are employee names whose salary is greater than their manager salary. 70,000 greater than 50,000, 65,000 greater than 50,000. So in this way, by using this simple query, we can get it. Now, if you want to get only employee details, so we will give here e dot e name. That we can take it as a employee name. Similarly, if you want to take salary also, we can take e dot salary as employee salary. And if you want to take manager details also, we can give m dot employee name. m dot employee name as a manager name. Then we can also want to give a salary details. We can give m dot salary as a manager salary. Now, if I execute this, now we'll get all the information employee and their salary, manager and their salary. So, in this way, by using this uh, left chain, we can simply achieve this query. That's all for this video. If you have any alternate approach, please post in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet.